guys welcome back so today's video is my review of the Kat Von D metal matte palette sorry I've been MIA this past week I've been battling like the bubonic plague I still feel like I'm swallowing razor blades right now I never need an excuse not to do my hair but this is uh, I get out of the shower and let it air dry look I hate doing my hair also, it is Fleet Week this weekend. So if it sounds like there's about to be a bomb dropped on my apartment, it's because the Blue Angels literally look like they're about 20 feet above my apartment. <laughs> so I'll try to edit those pieces out, but just bear with me if you hear anything, I, I wanna get this filmed. As always, there'll be markers in the description box in case you just wanna skip ahead to swatches, cost breakdown, comparison, stuff like that. I did purchase my palette from Sephora um, pretty much the minute it went live, um, and it was pretty painless. So this is a limited edition palette and it's currently um, online at sephora.com as well as catvond.com and you can find this in stores. Um, I didn't see it in my local Sephora but I did go on the store locator and it says it's in San Mateo so I'm assuming other stores do have inventory. Once these are sold out though, they are gone for good. So first let's talk about the packaging. This is lettering that Kat Von D herself did. I believe she does all of the artwork for all of her packaging herself. And this is actually um, an ambigram. Um, and what that means is it's a word that you see and it's like an artistic thing basically. And from a different angle, it still has meaning. Um, so when you flip this upside down, it says matte as well. This is a very large palette. Just to show you in comparison to my Shade and Light palette, you see how much larger this is. And then here's comparison against my um, Serpentina palette. I think the Serpentina palette kind of looked like an ice cream sandwich. I don't know why I just wanted to eat that. This one is a lot thinner. This one is on par with her Shade and Light palette. So this is easier to store. Just be made aware that it's, it's very large. The packaging it came in has that same ambigram on the cover. On the back it lists the shades. Um, if you ever want to keep the ingredients or compare them against anything, you always need to keep the packaging because the ingredients are never listed online for any of these that I can find anyway. So the metallics are right here and then the mats are on the side right here of the box. Something I really like about this palette, and I notice not all brands do. Some are starting to, but I like it when they label the name on each one. Like sometimes they'll just put an insert in or it'll say it just on the back of the palette. I like it that it says it on the back, but I like it that I can see it right on the front there if I'm trying to like follow a tutorial or anything, I can just dip right in, I like that. It does have a nice large mirror on the top here. This palette is made in the USA, which I like. So in this palette, you're getting nine metallics and 12 mattes, which it's a lot of product. The only shade that I find um, the same name and the same color is this Synergy. It's their crushed metal shadow in Synergy as well. Did compare the ingredients across the two and they are different. They share a lot of the similar ingredients uh, in a different order. One has mica in it, one does not. One has a few other ingredients, but I do find the performance of them to be extremely similar, if not identical. Again, the reason that they do that is because something like this might need to be in its own housing to keep the creaminess, where something like this doesn't have that airtight lock and it's stored with other other products so you tend to need to make it more stable because I will tell you these shatter very easily if you drop them or something so I'm assuming they just had to stabilize the formula a little more. I will show you right here in a swatch. I swatched the um, individual versus the one in this palette. I did want to take um, a comparison against other formulas that I have from the Kat Von D. So I compared the ingredients against the Shade and Light palette, which I really like this palette. This is one of my favorite neutral matte palettes because you can get a wide range of looks and the shadows are very easy to work with. And they're very pretty. And then I compared it against the Serpentina palette. I haven't done an individual review video on this, but I did post one on my Instagram. Um, I will tell you, I don't care for the mattes in this palette. Blood Milk was, I mean, it's it's okay, but it was a little more muted, and this Venom color was super patchy. Again, purples are very difficult to do. Um, I'll talk about the purple in that palette as well because I don't like it. But these four colors, even five, I really liked. I didn't care for Ankh, Blood Milk, or Venom. I did like the metallic in here as well. So overall, um, my overall standing was I wouldn't repurchase this just for those colors based on the cost. But again, if you don't own any colors like this, they're beautiful colors. I compared the, the mattes in there and the shimmers against these formulas and they are completely different. 
Um, these are the most similar to the crushed metal shadows, and these mattes aren't like any of the mattes in any of these that I have found. I will say though, this ribbon color and this palette, I do not like um, because it's patchy, but all of the other colors I, I, I pretty much do like. This tinsel works best with a finger application. Brush is chunky as well as this flash with a brush. I only don't like using my fingers because if you see I have Dragon Lady nails, I can't get into the corner of my eye with any kind of precision, so I would have to cut them or just not buy the palette. <laughs> I love Nebula, Watt, uh, Twinkle, Volt, Synergy. I love those. Velvet, I love. Fringe, I was shocked that I really like this because it's like a pastel, light pink, peachy color. Um, ribbon is the one I don't like. Velour is beautiful. Jet isn't as deep of a black. Like if you're looking for like a black black, my favorite is either the Melt Cosmetics. They're black. You can buy that individual one, which that's like pitch black. Or Makeup Gut. Geek Corrupt is pretty black, or the Natasha Denona Black is Black is like depths of my soul black. I did take this Nebula and I compared it, I will show you here, against this Nile and this palette, and they are extremely similar. I also compared this uh, Scarab against Watt, um, and they are in the same family, but not the same. Um, this Venom is a lighter purple than the ribbon in the palette. Both of them I, I don't care for. Again, purple shadows are hard to get correct. Let me show you, this is the most expensive Kat Von D palette that has launched, but you get the most amount of product in here. Like if you look at the total grams you're getting, you're getting 37.4 grams with this palette, which that is significantly more than any of the other palettes offered. I've started cataloging my palettes where I'm putting, you know, the cost, how many grams you're getting, um, how many shadows, you know, the cost per gram based on all of that. And this palette is one of the best values that I have. I mean, I think it's in like the top five across all palettes I own. So I will show you guys that. I'm gonna start showing you guys comparisons against similar cost per grams because that's what it comes down to. I just think it's more accurate to compare cost per grams because you get different amounts in every palette. Now with that being said, this is an excellent deal. Especially if you consider that the crushed metal shadows are $21 individually. I mean, granted, you're not getting nearly the same size, but you're getting a wide spectrum of color. And I've had these for quite some time and I'm not even near hitting pan or putting a dent in them. A little goes a long way. And then I just wanted to compare this um, now based on cost. Any other palette that's in around the $60 range. You can see um, like the Lorac Mega Pro is $59, but you're only getting 12.8 grams worth of product you're getting more than double in this palette for one dollar more i will say my favorite way to use these is with glitter glue or some kind of um like sticky base because if you don't you can get fallout on your cheeks like with most metal metallic shadows so it's best to either use a sticky base and put these on or do your eyes before you do your foundation because i did get like some blue little specks on my face um, it is important to note most of Kat Von D's makeup now has gone um, vegan. All the shades except for Twinkle in this palette are vegan. Twinkle does contain carmine, which is derived from bugs. It's a common uh, coloring in red products. I did see that on the Kat Von D beauty page, so um, I just wanted to let you know. And I did check the ingredients. The only one that has carmine is Twinkle. Today on my eyes, I used suede um, as my transition. I used oak up in my crease. I drew it on. Um, then I went in with some jet. I highlighted my brow bone with bone. I used nebula all over my eyes and then I darkened the um, outside corner with jet. And then I took Ignite and I pat it on just a little. And then I went in with flash on the inside corner and underneath my eye. And then I smoked it out with jet and some oak again. If you've noticed, this palette is very cool toned. Um, on, you're not gonna get really warm colors. So if you like warm colors, you might not like this. What I do like about this is that you can also do really neutral looks if you want to because of all the mattes you have. So if you just wanted to take like suede, oak, and bone, you can do like an everyday look or you can really kick it up to like a going out or more colorful, bold looks. I'll talk about it in the swatches. Again, ribbon I didn't like, and a couple of these like the jet weren't as dark as I was hoping, but these are wonderful shadows. They do get, um, they can get kick up in there when you're dipping your brush in, but just like the shade and light palette, 
if you're familiar with that formula. My favorites in this palette are Nebula, Watts, Twinkle, Volt, and Synergy for the metallics. Uh, Velvet, Bone, Suede, Oak. I really liked Fringe, Velour. Moss is a pretty green color as well. You guys, I'm going to link my friend Ripley's um, Instagram page below. She currently doesn't have a YouTube channel. I keep telling her she should create one, but she was kind enough to swatch on deeper skin tone for me, the same method that I do my swatches in. So I will link her Instagram below. You guys should follow her. Um, she swatches lots of makeup. I'll be inserting that up in the corner here while I do these. So now let's just get into some swatches, guys. I've laid down a base of Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I will be swatching the matte shades with my MAC 239 brush, and I will be swatching the shimmers with my MAC 242 brush. I will be cleaning my brush off in between swatches on my color switch so my brush will not be damp. I will do a finger swatch above, and then I will do the brush swatch right below it so you can see the difference. This white color is very nice. I find this black to be a little patchy and gray. It goes on decent with a brush, but it's not like a jet jet black like the name would have you believe. The blue is decent. Um, it does go on. It takes a little bit of building somewhat with a brush. Keep in mind these colors are cool, so you're not going to get that typical like what you think bright pop. Um, the green goes on okay with a brush. It does take a little bit of building. Um, this purple is just no go for me. Ribbon, I do not like this. I somehow skipped doing the silk swatch. Um, I tried to rearrange these a few times. So there it is in the corner. I do like this pastel yellow. It is a nice shadow. I do like these browns. This bone color is a very nice brow bone highlight. And as you can see, um, one thing I like about this palette is on Ripley's Deeper Skin Tone too. I think this is a great palette from pale all the way to deep skin tone. Right here, I just wanted to show you the kick up that you get from the mattes. Now we're gonna do the metallics. I love these metallics. All of them are amazing with um, a finger, but um, most of them are great with a brush as well. The only one I didn't care for was this one with a brush, this tinsel, the silver. And then the last one, Flash, wasn't really a good. This twinkle is like an amazing, kind of like a duochrome it reminds me of. I really like the purples in here. The synergy color, synergy and raw power are my two of my favorites. And then this flash color doesn't work really well with a brush. So I really do like this palette. I totally would repurchase. Um, there are a couple duds in there for me, but out of all the shadows that you're getting, so much more good than that. Um, even if this actually came with no mattes and I just got these metallics, I think I'd buy it for the $60 because I bought a ton of these crushed metals and I really like them. But already the three of these were more than this whole palette. So it's like I would much rather get the range I'm getting. I mean, again, they're not as large, but I get way more of a color selection. I would purchase this. I would recommend this. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Next video I have coming for you guys is the Master Palette by Mario, um, since that is available currently and will be in stores on the 20th. And then I will be doing my Huda Palette review since that's not available until November. Again, I have a little more time to work on that one. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time.